Hello and welcome back to The Broken Doll. Tonight I come to you with um, these eyes again and, and the painting of the white and the flesh tone I think we're going to do again. I'm not sure yet. But anyways, I know we're going to do the whites today. Um, now, I was um, I had a comment by Joan uh, Recker who was saying that it would... Um, she puts in a little bit of black um, into the white of her um, eyes when she's painting them. And that is very true. You can do that. But only on certain dolls I like to do that with. And I'll tell you why. This is very much a doll-like doll. Um, even though I always describe her as the reborn of the 1920s. She, and and <clears throat> the beginning of where realistic dolls, because they really felt that the Bilo baby was too, was very real, realistic back in its day. And that's why it, it almost never was made, because of how real it looked like a real baby. Um, maybe the facial features did it. Maybe the little uh, frog-shaped legs and e maybe the combination of everything made this doll where it scared some of the men that they did not want to make this. But um, like Grace, I've told before, Grace Putnam took it to the women and the young women and the young girls, and they loved it. And they pushed this doll through and to be made. And like I said, even today, it's still being made into, um, like you can go and fire one up at a pottery place and um, do ceramics with it and make your own. Um, every now and, now and again, um, this face will pop up in the stores and um, it's just an old Bilo face um, of a real little girl that was an orphan in, in, in an orphanage. This is of a real child. So you're holding that baby, that child, um, in doll form from the 1920s. Um, so again, coming back to the eyes, um, but this is still doll-like. It is not as realistic to today's version. They painted the doll's eyes white, so I'm going to return it to white. But you can do that if you want. Nothing wrong with doing that. I just want to keep mine as original as possible. Now, where would I do something like that? Now, I would do it on my Monica of Hollywood doll eyes. Now, if you look at her eyes here, she's got those real realistic looking eyes. Now, when I have to redo her, I'm more than sure those eyes are going to have to come out and I'm going to have to learn how to repaint them again. And those eyes there, for sure, these eyes here are the eyes of, um, you know, that have been, um, uh, the whites have been grayed a little bit. And that's so true. I will be doing that. If they fall out, I'm going to try to keep those eyes as best as I can and not pull them out and um, paint around that if I can. And I'm going to do my best it, uh, to my ability to not have those eyes come out at all. But that's going to be hard. I'm going to really, really try. But if I can't, I will have to learn how to repaint those eyes as realistic as I can possibly do. But um, I'm excited to try it, though. Um, I think it's going to be wonderful to do. But again, this is where I would do it. Because why they were trying to make this doll realistic because of who it was representing. It was representing... Um, models of Hollywood back then and actresses and um, so of course I would really try to do that on this doll for sure so she's going to be an exciting doll to do so anyways but when it comes to the Bilo baby doll's eyes here I would uh, what I would like to do is keep them as uh, in the white uh, white that, no, that that's my preference there's nothing wrong if you want to do that to your doll um, there's nothing wrong with it um, do as you you want it's your your doll your eyes you're everything. So um, you can see that this, this one coat on here did very well on there. I'm really happy with it. So, um, yes. So I'm going to bring this light down a little bit. I think it's just a little bit too bright. So we can bring that down. See if that helps it. Yeah, that helps it a little bit better so we can see better here. Just a little too bright, bright. Now you can see the jaundice in those eyes. So um, we need to paint those white. So we're going to do that right next. That's our next thing we're going to do. Oh, and one other thing that I did also. Someone mentioned on there, you know who you are, and you can say right on my video, hey, it was me, to use the matte sealer on the back of my doll, uh, on my doll's face to bring down that high gloss. So I thought, well, I'm going to try it, but I'm only going to try it on the back of the neck because I can always repaint it if I need it to. So I did. And this is how shiny the doll is just by looking at it right here in this light. But when you turn her around... I did the back of the neck, and look how much duller it turned out. It is a little bit duller than the top of the head here. See the head here? From this crease up, I did not do. I just did where the writing was of Gray Story, Putnam. So you can see the how much duller it is. It did bring down that shine. So I will be using that on her. So that worked out beautifully. So you can use this stuff on oil paint. It worked. So you got to try. 
it, I, that's why I did the back of the neck. So if I if it did if if there was a problem, I could fix that very easily. So, anyways, we're going to get these eyes uh, painted now. So I'm going to put you into here without shutting you off. I shut you off. I'm sorry. I will turn you back on and we'll make it another part. <laughs> okay, here we are. Now I need to get something on the back of that because it's going to fall forward. This is not going to work. Um, can this work on here? Nope, that's not going to work. How do I get that to... I didn't know I was going to have that problem with this here. Um, mm -mm -mm. I need something. Okay, we're going to fall for a second here. Hang on a second. I need something to go on the back of that. Oh, I know. Maybe my plate here will work. Let's see if this will work. Okay. All right, let's try this. There we go. My plate worked. And I lost my light. Okay. There we go. Ooh, back to being really bright again. All right. Now I'm hoping you're seeing this. Bring you down just a little bit. Yeah. Hopefully that's enough right there. Let me just see. We're going to squeak you over this way a little bit so I can see where you are. Oh, yeah, there we are. Okay. So I need to be right in this area here. I'll put my, that nut right there so I can stay in this area while I'm painting. Okay. So let's do some painting on the whites of these eyes. All right. These are probably celluloid eyes. Like I say, they probably need a couple coats. It's not going to be just the first coat that's going to do this. You sometimes have to use a couple to get that nice staunch white that I'm looking for here. I'm a little shaky tonight. I can see it in my brush. I'm going to put my light up just a little bit. There we go. Whoops. Okay, just a little bit. I can see this is going to need another coat, maybe several. I've never been this shaky before. I wonder what's going on. I ate some sugar before I came in. I had some fuzzy peach, they call them peaches, candy. Okay, there's one side. And we'll do another coat on this another day. Maybe tomorrow we'll do another coat. And we'll do this one over here. You can just see now from one to the other how jaundiced this one is. We're going to get some warm weather next week, they say. I'm hoping to. We're going to be in the 40s. And I'm like, yes. Walk on the on the snow out here. It's not even snow. It's like ice. It just cracks underneath your feet because that's how cold it is out here. Just cracks. Oh, my light went out. Why did you do that for? Oh, there's a timer on this thing. Oh. Come on. What's going on with you?
don't know what's going on with my light. Is it the plug? I'll try that now. Oh, there we go. It was the plug. I was stepping on it there. Okay. I hope you're enjoying all this. I've got, got a lot of nice comments and everything. I'm trying to do as much as I can on camera without um, doing it with ouches here. Okay, there we go. I'm trying to keep it real. I need a little brighter. For me, anyways. There we go. Just bring it up one notch. There we go. All right. There we go. That's the first coat. And um, we'll try that out and see how that stays. Looks pretty good. Need to get up a little bit closer. I'm going to get to that eyeball. Ooh, i got to be careful. That's why you want the smallest brush, what you're comfortable with working with, you know, to be present, like to have these little tiny brushes are beautiful to have. You don't have to have expensive brushes. This is not an expensive brush at all. This is from uh, China. And it's used for nail for doing your nails. For decorating your nails. And I get them for like a big bag of them. Different ones in there. For like a a dollar fifty or something like that. Or a buck. And I bought about two or I don't know how many. Um, two or three at a time. And, um, and they work beautifully. Okay, there they are. The eyes are done. I hope you were able to see all that. And um, got that painted up quite nice. And I'm happy with where it is for right now because I can always make it better um, later. I don't have to, um, you know, keep doing anything about it because actually um, it's trying, it's going to start drying here. This paint doesn't take long. It takes about a day um, to uh, dry. I never touch anything with oil paint after 24 hours. I wait till 24 hours and then I paint it. I mean, and then I can start doing another coat with this. Oop, there we go. And um, there we go. And I hope you were able to see most of that. Anyhow, um, I, I put a bug in my son's ear and I said, you know what your mama would like for Mother's Day? is an overhead light, an overhead thing that will hold my camera. And he goes, oh, all right. So I think I'm getting one from him. He's going to get me one, which is really great. I'm happy to hear that because um, they're always wondering what I want. And I said, that's what I want. That's what I need. So anyways, um, there we go. So I um, hope you like this. More to come on this baby. We're not done with her yet. So um, got the whites, of, uh, the beginning of the whites of the eyes uh, coming here. But you can still see underneath this. This will need another coat. This did pretty good. I'm really wondering if I need another coat because it wasn't too bad to begin with. I might uh, do another coat just to get up around the eye, just the eyes, just to clean that up a little bit. And um, just do one more maybe here. So, all right, be coming back with some more. If I do that, I'll, I'll do it on camera. If I am going to uh, paint up here, I will put it on camera for you. Thanks again for stopping in and seeing what I'm up to. Bye-bye.